Hey guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome along to Penumbra Overture. It is Monday the 17th of July. Hope you had a great weekend. And let's jump straight into this without messing about too much because I think we're nearing the end of this uh, game. We're on our way to meet Red at the last uh, episode. Uh, so yeah, let's go and see what is going on. Hello there, Errand. Oh yeah, that's where we came from. That's right. Just trying to remember my bearings. Run! Section C. Okay. Do we need a security code? We have bits and pieces on the shelves. Driver. Nothing on the top. Okay. Not getting good vibes in here, I'll be honest. The well, weekend was good, Aaron, thank you very much. Saturday was a bit hectic. Did loads of shopping and got loads of jobs done. And yesterday was um, more a case of kids, you can do what you like. Me and Mrs. Knock, we're going to sit on the sofa and we're going to binge watch seven episodes of a box set we're watching at the moment. So, yeah, one all. It was good. It was good. All right, five is my to do lists. I don't know why that one's still there. So we need a code to unlock sector C. Okay. Yeah, we had a short bike trip yesterday as well. I forgot about that. Took the kids to the park on the bikes. Alright. Okay, that doesn't sound very good. So we need refinery, shaft. Alright. Have I got any jerky? I've got three jerky. Excellent. Oh, there's a dog. Run, 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 run. Whew. Okay. Oh, where the rock and mine is connected to find these pistols crushing me from burning my body. Yes, we don't want to go in there. That would be not very wise at all. Hey, Hugo. Oh. It's like one of those puzzle things. Okay. So we need to set them all up. Well, they're all down, right? So 
do that and do that. No! <laughs> I did get a haircut, yeah. My hair was getting long, so I, I went to the... Uh, and got one at the weekend as well. Part of my busy Saturday. yourself a fan errand. Jeez. <laughs> um, no, I don't want to do that. Hey, there we go. I did it. Really? I'm certain most people wouldn't get close enough to this machine to read those instructions. Yeah, I was going to say, they're in a bit of a weird position. If you ask me. Only the engraving etched in the back of my mind can compare to the sight you must be seeing. Now power has returned. I wish I could be there with you, but circumstances do not allow for such frivolities. Maybe soon there is something you can do about that. But tell me, are the rubber belted conveyances now churning in the rock room? I think I know where they lead. It is some kind of heaven or a utopia. Alright, so. There's not really anything up here, no? I mean, I'm sure we're going to want the spare motor for something, right? I'm pretty certain of it. Oh, I wonder if that's going to... There's a shaft below, wasn't there? I wonder if it's going over there. Oh, dear. We're stuck. Interesting. Can I... Nope. Oh. Hey Sonny, what's going on? Welcome along to stream, buddy. How are you all? I didn't even see that ladder. I swear down that wasn't there before. Oh, so does it come all the way It goes all the way around. Oh, okay. Goes all the way around and then drops out the top. Okay. How would I stop this? I could just open that, I guess. Oh, hold on. Why? What was wrong with what I did? So, what if we throw a barrel at it? Well, 
Maybe I should... Oh, wow. Well, I really am not learning today, am I? Okay, I think I got this. So now, what I'm going to do... Let's do this. Go back. We'll find it, don't worry. I'm sure we'll find it. Come in. Hmm. All right, so I'm starting to think that either it is, that I'm starting to think it got stuck. Maybe it's just like rolling around, in which case I hope I haven't like broken the game. Yeah, I dropped um, I dropped a few frames for some reason. Sorry about that. That would be pretty lame if they get stuck, like, going through there. Because I'm going to trap myself. Maybe I'll just put them in the wrong way. So I'm pretty sure I've got to use the barrels to block the fan, and then I can get through. Hey, there we go. There's a barrel at the top. Excellent. Really? Thank you. Only one. Oh. All right, let's go. for the xenomorphs. I'm telling you, they're coming. We are now such good and lasting friends. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps you He's could do with something. After all, the laws of politeness would be shattered if you were to appear at my party without a gift. Poor Red is so hungry. He could eat both the horse and the young dribbling stable hand. Certainly, pony flesh is so hard to come by in this part. Man meat is so... Just so glad. If your eyes happened upon a scurrying rodent, would you deliver the crunchy feast uh, by way of a final meal? He obviously thinks he's going to die then, clearly. Oh, I see steam. Valve confirmed. Are you kidding? All oh, right, okay. I don't know where to go next, though. That's the thing. That one and that one. Straightforward. Oh man, this is this is complicated. I 
All right. Ah. That wouldn't be a, a bad, bad idea, actually, Hugo. At least we're saved at this spot, right? So what, what have we got? We've got a one, two, a four by... How many wide is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a four by six. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's like the witness all over again. Pass me my extra sketch. And it's what I said. What's four across? Let's go one, two, three, four, five. So I'm on this one there at the minute. It comes these two. That one. That one. One straight in front of it. Ooh, okay. I can do both of them at the same time, then the one in front of it. After that, I'm a little bit screwed. So go up to there for five, then there to six. Alright, let's try this. Alright. Wait. Wait. Ah, didn't move. I waited too long. Stupid. Alright. I got this. I got it. I don't got it. Alright, I kind of winged it. I didn't kind of wing it, I did wing it. Okay, we've got another one of these. What? Oh, maybe we need to turn off the steam pressure. What? Oh, I got this. be pretty hard. Well, I can't, I can't go back, so there's no point in even trying to go back. Uh, I want four. Alright. Wow, well, some weird reflections there. Alright, can't go that way. So that's a dead end. It's a way for us to progress, not dead end, it's a way for us to progress. Weird. Yeah, what's with them, like, reflections on the side? They kind of, like, just zone in to, like, a panel. It's weird. Doesn't seem normal to me. Alright, that was the right way to go. Sorry, guys. It's not just me that thinks that, is it? Yeah, no, 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 I was just checking the other way. I know, I know that was a click, click on vent. Do a bit of Donkey Kong Country, go right for a ride on the minecart. Obviously not. Obviously I'm not allowed to do that. Oh, could I like Come on. I wonder if I could like 
get through the change somehow? I don't know. Spent so much weight, can't be put more than a week ago. No, I wasn't trying to jump over the chains, I wanted to um, break them because I think we need to... Alright, I think I know what we need to do here. I have an idea. Let's see if we can't somehow stand up first, that'd be a good idea. Yeah. But I wonder if we need, need to, like... Uh... Okay. Interesting. This card has supernatural powers. Alright, that answers my question, anyway. Can I drag off the track? Hmm. <laughs> well, my, my instant thought was to maybe stack the rocks in the car to make it heavier so that it's got a bit more momentum to break through here and the brick wall at the bottom. Obviously, I am missing something. Interesting that the vent is now closed, considering I just came through it, but hi-ho. I mean, what else have I got? I haven't really got anything else in my inventory. I could try the saw. I mean, I don't think I've used the saw for anything. Maybe we should try using the saw. What do you mean, what am I thinking? Okay, it makes it like sound like a complete not a nincompoop. Is there something behind there? Well, it depends. If you've got a hacksaw, off you go. <laughs> well, these rocks ain't budging. This wall ain't breaking. I could try hammering the chains, I guess. I, 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 I don't know. At this point, I really don't know. But I can't go back. Unless I can move the other... Um. Oh, hold on. We 
can get out. Oh, this is Shaft 12. Okay. We need to go to Shaft 13 then. So second left, second left. All right. One shrimp jerky. That's what I thought. Right, let's see what we can find in here then. That looks like the facility from Black Plague. Well, now we're trapped. Uh-oh. I'm dead. I'm dead. I am dead. I'm lost. Oh, come on. Come on. Are oh, these... You're really not meant to frickin... You really... They, they really made it really hard to, like, kill those spiders. It's the, um... I think it's just the action. Where do you think they took inspiration from that from? Spider type things coming out of an egg. Oh my goodness. There we go. We're safe. We are safe. Alright. 
February 24th, 1972. I write this in knowledge that it may well serve as my last and will and testament. Myself and three other miners have been trapped beneath the mine shaft to the surface for what we believe to be three days, but with no daylight and increasing dehydration, it's possible to tell. The only thing keeping us alive is the hope that there could be a rescue team already on their way. We are also positive at the start, but that seems long ago now. Renta was the first to crack. Some time during the first night, we all just lay there trying to sleep, though through the sound of his wailing and sobbing, trying to pretend his problems weren't our own, and that there were, he was weak for having given up so soon. The fact was he was dealing with the situation pretty realistically. Our chance of survival gets smaller every hour. Since then, he hasn't said much, but the despair that gripped him seems to have spread through to the rest of us like cancer. We were such fools to ignore the foreman, and he paid, paid for, yeah, he paid for that with his life. When he started putting security code locks on all the doors, we thought he was crazy. There's only us down here after all. So why should we need to codes to access places we're already allowed to go? He gave us all code sheets, made us swear to keep them safe. Huh, mine hasn't left me, ha, left, mine hasn't left my locker more than once. It's still there. Doesn't get much safer than that. We asked him, we asked him who we were keeping them safe from, but he never said it was a pain in the ass. I, uh, is what it was. Sorry, my reading's not very really good. I had to trek all the way up to that crazy biology just this morning just to check the code for section C. But he obviously knew something about these mines we didn't. Some of the guys started acting weird. Not crazy weird, just normal. Just not normal. That didn't stop a couple of them being cast off to the mainland Europe for psychiatric help. Was no one I knew well until the incident three days ago? We were in chemical storage when one of the guys who had seemingly pretty seemed pretty straight just started shouting. It wasn't an, a normal kind of shouting. I'm not in any way a wordsmith. I'm, I'm, I, my reading is terrible. <sighs> I'm not any kind of wordsmith, so I just don't know how to describe the noises he was making. I think you need to check your timing there, Aaron. I think you need to check the time of um, when the original Alien movie was released compared to the time Penumbra was released. Just saying. Um, we'll just have to stick with, uh, with not normal. Anyway, he managed to hurt a couple of guys, damage some equipment before he got under control. Nothing serious. When we released him, he seemed okay. Phased, but all right. Didn't really know where he was. Far away look in his eyes. That I'll remember for the rest of my life, my days, even if there aren't many more of them. His pupils weren't dilated. They just seemed to take up more space and than should be possible. Black and horrible. Then he snapped and grabbed up one of the high rate rated explosive packs. We knew what he intended. Saw it in those eyes. Those those that could make a run for it. But the guy was already bearing down on the foreman. He didn't have a chance. There were five of us who made it out of the exit shaft. Only four survived the explosion. The elevator shaft collapsing Elevator chef collapsed in on us, and now it's anyone's guess how many are still trapped down there. The last thing I saw with those eyes seemed like they were staring at me, and me alone. Miles Statton. Where's there a blank page? Hmm. Interesting. You're relating to the game, but the, the, the game is based on the, on the movie series. That's, that was my point. Unless my friends lie somewhere near you now. A friend in need is a friend indeed. But a friend that's dead is a poor conversationalist. May they rest in pieces, ruptured and decomposing. I'm a little bit worried by the amount of beef jerky we're getting right now. We said it, it, it hadn't left his locker. Oh, there it is. I was going to say, if it says it hasn't left his locker and there's nothing in the locker. Ha. Huh. Found the note. But as far as I can tell, there's no code written on it. So 
So it's some sort of secret note, right? What can... There's going to be something that I can use. Oh, dynamite. Mr. Dynamite. <laughs> um... Let's say, excuse me, game. In dark light, you think? So if I what, turn off my... Hmm. There's something else, though, because obviously the... Um, I think this page as well. It must be something on this page, but I don't know how we can use that. Um. So, I think we need to go back to the place where we need to enter the code now. Actually, no, we can go back to the other shaft and use the... Yeah, I want to go back to the other shaft. Because I want to go and use... I wanna go use the dynamite on that wall where that minecart was. Oh, that made me jump. <laughs> what? Oh dear. I wasn't expecting another dog there. Alright, in which case, we're just going to go back to... Oh, I took the wrong turn. Shaft 12, I'm going to use the dynamite. Oh, 
What? Huh. Well, I hope we didn't need the dynamite for anything. I'm sure it's not important though, because I'm sure it would have... Um, if I'd have needed it for something, it wouldn't have let me use it. If it was a key part of um, whatever I was trying to do. So where am I going? Second right. Alright, so... Oh! Bolt cutters. I was right. Alright. Let's pay more attention. So, um, painkillers, yeah, good call, good call, Hugo. I still find it hard to believe, though, that a stick of dynamite couldn't have done that job. Let's grab a safe. Alright, let's, um... An old newspaper. Nope, can't read it. Yeah. Uh, 74. In Evans, a small village in a relatively desolate northwest, have been reporting witnessing uncharacteristic large volumes of seaborne traffic over the past six months. The northwest green is virtually uninhabited by modern standards, containing just 0 0 0.1 persons per square kilometre, one third of the national average. Sea trade has dropped off dramatically since closure of the northwestern lead and ore mines in March 72. The mine itself ceased operation due to a massive structural failure following an apparent accidental detonation of standard mining explosives where all 47 workers were assumed killed in the blast. Bodies were not recovered. Now locals are complaining of noise pollution caused by a high and steady volume of ships sailing close to shore. Unfortunately, in order for any form of official inquiry to be undertaken, the registration codes of the ships in question must be recorded, and since villagers claim the ships only travel under con cover of darkness, it may mark a difficulty for an ongoing quest for justice. Okay. Um. <clears throat> oh, I wonder. I wonder. The, the microscope's operational, right? What if I did... Can I maybe put it there? I don't know. Hmm.
Nope. Can't do anything with that. I think the key is still in the lock. Alright, newspaper under the thing. Poke the key out the lock. Thank you very much. Man, there's some big ass slugs. Looks like this one was pushed down to like squash something. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Um, while you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt in your mouth, nasty morsels, there are places you should not go for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate than you. Well done, Hugo. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays, because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind. Some bad things have flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood. Hi, old snake. What's going on, buddy? Welcome on the stream. And by the way, should you turn peckish, red is at its finest sautéed with a little engine oil. <laughs> Alright, so we got the code, right, didn't we? Didn't we get the code? One, three, seven, one. Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Alright, so now we can go back. Punch the code into the machine. Well, it was a bit freaky. It's like you didn't... I didn't expect the blue light to come on, to be honest. I was a little bit caught out by that. Uh, where are we? Uh, second right, that's it. Run. I'm not home. All right, so the code again was uh, 1371. Loading. Where am I now? Where did we just come from? Section B. Alright, let's go and check out the lake first, I guess. Really? The hunger is becoming rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. On your travels for the tools with which you will fashion my rescue, you may discover the place of my last meal. Be careful, the shiny solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two fools he met who 
plummeted into my domain, have long since departed, though not I expect from whence they came. I ate ravenously of biped meat that day, uh, but Red Promise's feasting only began when the man became pungent, when the stench of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. This way. Or is this some sort of lake? Yeah, as in ice. As in there's a there's a floor of ice, but it's not as it seems. That's what I understood that to be, Hugo. That's what I took it to be anyway. Grab a save. Okay. Alright, let's just walk across here and see what happens, shall we? Won't catch me trekking across there. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Whoever said my spacebar key doesn't work, eh? Almost made it. I assume you can get across here anyway. And now I'm not going to be able to do it, you see. Now I'm not going to be able to do it. Hugo, you know. So was there really, is there really no point to come in over here? There really is no point. Now what's that? Oh. It's just, it's a, it's a body. Ha. Huh. Falling to the water anyway. <laughs> oh, I need it, do I? Okay, so I do need to come across here. Okay. Come on, out of what you get. Thank you very much. I went around the wrong side of the rock. All right, swam. Oh, come on. Nox Kidney Parkour Legend traverses a lake of ice. 
after dying about 10 times in the first. Oh, well, we've actually played, um, we've actually played Black Plague first. We played Black Plague first. And then we moved on to this second. Obviously, we know that this is the first game. But, um, I prefer this one, I think, as I said at the time of playing it, because this one, you can't, you, you Black Plague, you just run past everything. You didn't really have to, like, hide that much. Um, this one, you, you really have to, like, watch where you're going to get past them dogs. Can I take the crowbar, please? Oh, come on. You gave me a hand indicator there. Um, hold on. Have I seriously got to do this? Grim. Grim. <laughs> hey. Whee! Oh, that's, pretty, that's pretty frozen solid. <sighs> Alright. Alright, so... Make sure I can't use that there. So I've got to now traverse backwards. Ow! Oh, thank good for that. Thank goodness for that. Excellent. Right. So, right, it's back across to there, and. Hmm. No, it's not that we didn't know that this was the first game, but um, uh, the games were recommended to me, uh, and I was recommended. I was asked to play that one first. So we're kind of like dealing with this as like a prequel, and then we'll go on to the final one as like the sequel. I end in the stream until I got across this lake, man. Can I get across this lake? This street, this this stream ain't over, Aaron. <laughs> I did not want to be jumping across here tomorrow. All right. We see where it's going to break. Look, you can see the break in the ice. Oh, it's probably it's already broken actually. Oh, come on! That one also works, you know. That that works a lot better than what I was trying to do before. Actually. Oh, come on. Oh, Hugo, please. <laughs> There we go. Huzzah! Alright, well I will grab a save here. And, yes, that will be the end of the stream today. So, um, yeah, I was I thought we were actually closer towards the end than we actually are. Um, I thought we might actually wrap it up today. Clearly not. There is still a little bit more to go. Um, we'll explore the rest of this area tomorrow. But guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you haven't done already, please check out the links on stream on screen. Um, it'll be uh, gratefully appreciated. I will be back over on YouTube tonight, actually. We've got a stream on YouTube later. But if you can't make that, we'll be back here at 1 p.m. tomorrow um, for another hour of Overture. But until then, guys, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Happy gaming.